Minister, on October 22nd last, the Irish Nurses and Medical Organisation called for Beaumont Hospital to go off call as the A&E department was dangerously overcrowded. By the early evening, there were 41 admitted patients in the A&E department awaiting a hospital bed and numbers were set to rise as the night went on. The department is also short, as you know, of nurses and doctors and staff are concerned that it's impossible to provide a safe level of care to patients in these conditions. Almost half of those awaiting a bed that night were over the age of 75. Many of these had been forced to spend days on trolleys and chairs in frantic, bright and noisy conditions, waiting for a bed to become available. Waiting on a trolley in such degrading and inhumane conditions is unacceptable at any age, but I think it's particularly cruel um, for frail older people in their 70s, 80s and 90s. A&E overcrowding also creates an unacceptably stressful working environment for staff and is exacerbating the problem with emigration of nurses and doctors from Ireland to other countries where they can work in better conditions. The problems at Beaumont A&E haven't just appeared under this government's watch, Minister, and I appreciate that, but they do appear to be getting worse. According to the INMO, overcrowding at Beaumont increased by 40% in the first nine months of this year compared with 2014. As we face into the winter, there's a major concern that things will deteriorate further and that we may well be facing our worst ever winter at Beaumont Hospital. As you will recall, Minister, the CEO of the hospital, Liam Duffy, described his own hospital as unsafe last year during a similar overcrowding crisis. The clinic, former clinical director of the hospital, Professor Shane O'Neill, resigned over patient safety concerns too. I met the CEO, uh, Liam Duffy, and A&E staff recently to discuss the A&E crisis and particularly what can be done to address it. And a number of things need to happen. Firstly, we need to reduce the number of people presenting at A&E by improving primary care and out-of-hours services. DDoC was a great service when it started, but is suffering from a lack of resources. I got figures last year from the HSE that showed that some people classified by DDoC as urgent have been waiting over 13 hours to see a doctor. And the rational thing to do in that circumstance, Minister, is to go to A&E, um, and yet the service is supposed to prevent people from having to do so. Secondly, there is an urgent need for more convalescent beds and nursing home beds in the area Bowman often has up to 100 people awaiting discharge for whom it can secure a nursing home or convalescent, uh, convalescent home bed. Some even have been there for over a year. Um, and as the CEO explained to me, the, the average time in Bowman is about three or four days. So in those circumstances where they're particularly difficult cases and can find a place for someone, that means that 100 other people are denied a place, that 100 people could go through that bed um, in the same amount of time. And thirdly, even with these measures and improving out of our services um, and reducing those presenting to A&E, we will still have a crisis in Beaumont because the older demographic of the area, it's one of the oldest parts of the country and, and ageing, um, means that there will always be a need for acute medical A&E at Beaumont, and far, which far out supplies the, the current uh, provision there. The A&E department was built for there's just 35 patients and is often home to 100. I know that they have are working on designs for a new A&E on the Beaumont campus um, and are in discussions with, with the HSC about that. However, the government hasn't yet committed to building that new A&E department. So I've tabled this debate here today, Minister, to urge you to provide, uh, to ring fence the funding that's necessary and give a solid commitment that funding will be available as soon as those plans are finalised to build a new A&E facility at Beaumont Hospital. Thank you. Atala. Um, I want to uh, thank Senator Power for raising this issue today. Uh, firstly, I want to assure the House that reducing emergency department overcrowding uh, is an objective of the Government and the HSC. I convened the Emergency Department Task Force in December 2014 to provide focus and momentum in dealing with the challenges presented by ED overcrowding. Significant progress has been made to date on the implementation of the ED Task Force Plan. Delayed discharges nationally are reducing steadily from 830 in December 2014 to 570 last Tuesday, and this has freed up more than 200 beds every day for acutely ill patients. In October 2014, Beaumont Hospital had between 80 and 90 patients awaiting discharge home with support or to a nursing home, and that number reduced to between 55 and 65 in October 2015, essentially freeing up a whole ward for acutely ill patients every day. The waiting time for the nursing homes uh, subvention scheme, the Fair Deal, has reduced from 11 weeks at the beginning of 2015 to between two to four weeks now. By the end of 2015, over 1,200 additional home care packages will have been provided, as well as 149 additional public nursing home beds, 
24 nursing home beds contracted from Moore Hall in County Louth and 65 beds in Mount Carmel. A centre powered correct in identifying services such as DDoC and convalescent home places as vital parts of a comprehensive solution to overcrowding, which we see in Beaumont all too often. It's this integrated approach which has led the Director General of the HSC to co chair the ED Task Force Implementation Group until March 2016. This will ensure that all parts of the health service and social care services work together and optimise resources to deal with the particular challenges associated with the winter months. The rate of increase of population of older people living in Ireland is greater in North Dublin than any other part of the country, including other parts of Dublin. In 1997, only 5% of Dublin's over 65s lived in areas served by Beaumont Hospital. By 2011, this had increased to 24%. With this older popul population in mind, additional short-stay convalescent beds have opened this year in St Vincent's Fairview, Clontarf Orthopaedic Hospital and St Mary's Hospital in the Phoenix Park. Hospitals on the north side of the city were also prioritised for access to the 65 additional beds opened in Mount Carmel Community Hospital. However, we know that most people uh, prefer to remain in their own locality, where it's easier for friends and family to visit. So a tender inviting private providers to supply additional short-stay and long-term nursing home beds in the area is currently in process, and it's hoped that it can be agreed in the coming days or weeks. The HSC will continue to target additional short-stay beds as part of its winter planning process for dealing with pressures on acute hospitals. The HSC is currently reviewing GP out-of-hours services across the country, including DDoC, which provides an out-of-hours GP service to the population of North, uh, of North Dublin City and County. This review is expected to conclude shortly and will contain recommendations for changes uh, and improvement for delivery of service in each area. Funding has been provided to Beaumont to extend their day hospital from two days a week to five days a week as an alternative pathway for admission and assessment for elderly patients referred to the hospital by their GP, thus allowing them to avoid the emergency department altogether. On the question of a new emergency department at Beaumont, a design team has been appointed incorporating architects and healthcare planners to undertake a feasibility study on the location, size and cost of a new emergency department at the hospital. I'm advised this work is currently at stakeholder consultation phase and a report is expected to be available uh, from the middle of December uh, 2015. When the hospital board approves the design, the project will then be submitted for consideration by the RCSI hospital group of which Beaumont is part and HSE Estates and the Department of Health. 